Hi, welcome to the Tech F1 show. In this episode, I'm going to look at undernosed ducts or S ducts, something that's been used on the Sauber for the past two years. The Sauber C31 started the trend um, and has been carried across to the C32. Red Bull have also adopted this approach for 2013 with the RB9. And by the looks of what was going on at Jerez with Ferrari, they've also added a duct underneath the, the car, but there's no apparent duct being added to the top of the chassis as yet. The Ferrari duct could simply be a cooling duct that looks after driver cooling and electronical cooling and curves, uh, whereas obviously the Sauber and Red Bull versions are used to control aero effects on, on both the underside and the, the top side of the nose. If we start with the Sauber and Red Bull versions, they have a duct which is housed at the underside of the nose. This duct then shapes upwards through the, the nose cone itself and, and faces rearwards on the top of the bulkhead. The reason for this is that it transmits airflow from underneath the car, reducing the boundary layer underneath the car, and then injects the airflow into the stream on the top of the nose. This helps to eradicate part of the problem that you have with the step nose arrangement, which is airflow attachment. What happens with the step is that the, the airflow is pushed upwards and so would head higher than you would really want the airflow to travel. What happens when you have the, one of these rearward facing ducts is that the airflow then is helped to reattach to the bulkhead itself and transmits in the normal way it would do with a more flat, flattened nose. As I've already mentioned, Ferrari also ran a, an undernose duct at Jerez. This was on the last day of testing day four, and we didn't see it on days one to three when Felipe was running with the car. The reason that we believe Ferrari have used this particular duct is for driver cooling, and as I've already mentioned, for electronical cooling. Obviously, there, there may be another reason that we see further down the line with further involvement with drag re reduction devices, etc. But for the time being, with the parts of the car that we've already seen, we can only assume that this is for cooling purposes. The duct itself was only shown on the fourth day when Ferrari made a change to their nose cone design. You can tell by the difference in surface surfaces at just in front of the lower wishbone. Uh, there's a, a more vertical section, so it, it's just where the the nose cone fits to the front of front face of the bulkhead. It a, adjusts the way that we see the hole. The hole obviously doesn't seem a, apparent on the day one to day three pictures purely because the nose cone itself is shaped differently and covers that particular part of the bulkhead. I hope that goes to some way to explaining these ducts that we're seeing on the Ferrari, Red Bull and Sabre cars. And let me reiterate, this is an S duct, not the F duct that we saw back in 2010.